Hello everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we are opening a Goodwill Blue Box Jewelry Rescue Box. These go on sale on Fridays on goodwillbluebox.com at about 5 p.m. Central Time, 6 Eastern. They go really fast. So uh, yeah, <laughs> within minutes, a minute. So you have to be ready and have your whatever, however you pay ready and automated because they do go super fast. And I did get a couple this week. There've been the many in the last few weeks that I, I was not quick enough either. So I do get the question frequently, like, how do you get them? Sometimes I don't. So <laughs> I have some saved up from when I was able to get them a little easier. So yeah, that's what we're gonna open today. This costs $29.99 and it's about five pounds of mystery. So when we open it, we'll see if this is a good one. If not, I'll grab another because one time remember I opened one and it was all just like loose beads. You just never know. Usually I get enough to make my money back and then some, but every now and then there's a dead box where you don't get amazing stuff. Um, I am live. So if you're ever wanting to catch me live or just to know when I put out new videos, make sure you've hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. So you're notified when I put out new videos. I'd like to say I know when I'm going to go live, but I don't normally because I just like that's life. Uh, so that's how you can find out. You could also follow me on Facebook or Instagram, Texas Gal Treasures. Uh, frequently I'll post there or I'll in the group, I'll say, oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot to post that I'm going live. Can you go share in Texas Gal's Jewelry Lovers? Just like this time because I forgot to share. I do have the treasure cam ready. So if you're not uh, familiar with what that is, I'm gonna try to hold it up without knocking it over. I got this microscope camera. And oh my gosh, I've forgotten the name of the guy who shared it in the group. Uh, I gave him props when I shared it in there. And let me show you what it does. So this way when I'm like holding it up and we're like, what is that? What is that? Now we can look on the treasure cam and it'll like zoom it in for us. Isn't this fun? Uh, and we, I was trying to figure out a fun name for it. Um, and so I think treasure cam is like, it's pretty good. Um, it's a Texas treasure cam, right? Cause it's everything makes everything bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, so, okay. Hi in the chat. Hi everybody. I'm so glad that you guys could be here live. Thank you for being here. See everybody in there. Okie dokie. So I'm going to cut into this box and the treasure cam is too low for me to do that <laughs> under the camera. So I'll have to just cut into it and then I'll hold it up for first impressions. How's that sound? And I'm wearing one of those dresses that keeps trying to like, reveal all my secrets <laughs> revealing and, and it keeps inching open and I didn't like pin it closed or anything. Sorry, you're going to wobble for a second. Let's see. Joanne says, hi, hi everybody. Um, I saw on Goodwill online, three bulk jewelry jars, not sell. Ah, interesting. Goodwill on the, I'll have to check that out because any place we can find the old jewelry jars. Um, <laughs> Cause I don't, the Goodwills here don't sell them in Austin that I have seen anyway. Savers does, um, but the Savers near me, the lady is like, she knows a little bit more. She really picks through the stuff. They still miss stuff, but when you've got somebody that has their eye out looking for stuff, then it makes it a little harder. Okay. So, oh, ec eclectic element. You told your boyfriend you wanted one of those and you got one. Yay for Christmas. Good boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Hi, hi, McZoomy. Yeah, we, we should have taken a fun like um, poll on what we should name it. All right. First impressions. They put it in a bag. Yay. That makes it easier for me. So now we've got a bag. Well, the reason, one of the reasons I like it is I can pull the bag out and now <clears throat> I have a handy box to throw all the craft lot stuff in. Okay. Craft lot. Let me answer that real fast before we get started. I get the question about what I sell in my craft lots. Basically it's anything that I don't want to sell solo. I just put into a craft lot and that could be things that are broken, missing stones, could be wearable, sellable stuff, but I just don't think I'll ever get around to listing it because I have so much stuff. Uh, so much. Okay, so let's do a first impression. 
I see some pretty stuff in there. Ooh, I see a dragonfly. I see something that looks, it's kind of looking at it backwards, but I thought I saw some iridescence. I see, it looks like maybe snowflake obsidian in there. On this side, what do we see? This looks promising. This looks like a promising bag, y'all. Ooh la la, let's dig in. Okie dokie. I like it. I like it when it's in a bag like this. It makes it easier for me. <laughs> All right. Ooh, you were blessed. Okay, with a Goodwill blue box that had five different necklaces in it with 20 of each. <laughs> they really will. Like if, if um, I had gotten the wrong box and, and they let me send back the because I'd ordered two of the premium boxes. They they haven't done those the last few weeks, and I and they sent me the the repurposed box, and they did. They let me send them back, and they sent me the right ones. They made it right. So cool deal. Just gotta ask. The answer is no, right? Unless you ask. First, is this can I, is this a cool bracelet? I'm always iffy about selling this style of like bracelet, but this one's really fun. Look, we've got four different styles of um chain or beads on wire that's pretty cool i could see somebody wearing that i mean i don't think it looks good with my skin tone but i could see somebody really liking that so i will definitely sell that one i will guesstimate on prices um hello susan i will guess on prices um but probably you know about 15 bucks or so on that maybe 12 12 to 15 probably wouldn't list it waste the time listing it for lower than that and again i haven't researched so any of those prices are subject subject to change oh i did also want to say i have gotten some emails from some friends of the channel interested in stuff from one of the last unboxings i saw the emails but i haven't had a chance to respond yet things have been kind of busy around here so I, when i do this camera down this is the part where you I fast forward because I'm detangling something in my palm. I would love to pull it out, but I can't. All right, next, we have one of these memory wire bracelets that has like faux pearls. This is a fun bead. That's a fun one. This one I'll likely put, that's a Chico's. Okay, I, originally I was like, I'll probably put this into a lot, but now that it's a Chico's, I might just look it at. I mean, the, the hang tag on the Chico's looks kind of rough, but there are people that really like chico's and like chico's stuff and so they you know somebody might have had this particular bracelet and it broke or they lost it and they really loved it so i'm going to look up this one if it didn't have that and i wouldn't have and i didn't know where it was from 30 unforgettable years then i probably would have just put it in a lot and i have started making a separate lot for like faux pearl stuff then oh, let's see Treasure, uh, the treasure came in honor of Tex Lee, who is the voice of UTML. Oh, sweet. Okay, so also, if you have any questions as we go, pop them in the chat. Uh, so next up, we've got this bracelet. It's got just like a plastic purple cabochon on it. It's a clamper style. Honestly, here's what I'm tempted to do. I'm tempted because I get I get fun cabochons every now and then. Well, I'm tempted to pop that off and like put a cool stone one on there. Uh, but the bracelet is pretty cool. It let's look in the let's look at the treasure cam. <laughs> I can't do it with a straight face though. Let's because the the purple. I don't know if we'll be able to get it to it, see how it's kind of scuffed up a bit. See, it's kind of scuffed up right there. So that's probably why I wouldn't sell it. It'll probably end up in a craft lot where somebody can take it and get it. You know, do what I just said, like pop that out, put a different stone on there and sell it. I think that would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you did, Crazy May. <laughs> okay. Yay. Shout out to the Philippines. Then, okay, again, this is like, if we, I'll, I'll try to detangle a little bit, but if I get anything that's too crazy, too wild and crazy tangles. Um, if I get anything that's too crazy, I'll just set it aside and detangle it on my next camera down video. But I'll, I'll give it a, a quick go to try to get it out. These are some fun clip-ons. Ooh, I think I can get these out relatively quickly. Hello, Helen. I'm so glad you could make it for a second. Um, I don't think it would be too difficult to replace that. I think popping that out, it's probably just glued in there. 
on that anyway, depending on, it just depends. I don't, and I don't do a whole lot of repairs or fixes like that. All right, these earrings, look, these are clip-ons. They're really lightweight. I think I saw a missing stone. Hang on. Is that on that one? Or on this? Yeah. That one's got a missing stone. But it could be down in, in the bottom. But I love them. Look. Aren't they fun? Woo. They look like, I don't know, like a little alien ball. So I may le a look down in the bottom and see if that the stone, the missing stone is in there. But those are really fun. I like them. Darn it. Okay. We're going to cross our fingers that the, the mates or the missing stone is in there. Hello, Indiana. Okay, see this? This is where normally we like detangle and get the music going. And you never know how long it takes because I can like speed it up as quick as I want. All right, let's get this dragonfly out of here. I think I can get him out. Let's see, dragonfly. Hey, all right, here's the dragonfly. Hey, 80 friends. I can't see the thumbs up or thumbs down, so I'll have to ask you to do it. Honor system. <laughs> go, hit the, go hit the thumbs up button cool dragonfly brooch it's got this kind of wire wrapping around its wings and there's the back of it i don't see a maker's mark the some of the wear is rubbed off on it i have to get used to this as you can see some of the finish is rubbed off on that part but i don't think that will affect it because the finish hasn't rubbed off on the front where where people will see so that's something I will definitely sell. Definitely. Here's a question, Shelby. Hey, Shelby. Um, oh, I missed it. I'm going to do yours and then I'll come back to the other one. Do you have enough stuff for a Christmas craft lot? Ooh, I don't think so because I sold a bunch of lots. I should separate out the Christmas stuff too. Boy, I'm going to have all these tubs. Um, Harley Kitten says, do you think you'll be going to the Goodwill bins again? You always get to no. Um, I, I don't know because I don't know about taking my kids. I heard that Austin's will allow kids, but I'm still, I know we've had COVID, but I don't want to get it again because it was awful. <laughs> it was awful. And that's, that was just awful. And I know they say like your immunity is good for so long, blah, blah, blah. They just don't know enough. I'm not comfortable with that answer. <laughs> so I don't know. It'll be there when I'm ready, I guess. <laughs> Oh, all right. Next. I love the sound on this one. Listen. Okay. There's some that I just can't stand. Like I would, it would drive me nuts to listen to it all day, but that one's got a nice, I don't know. So what have we? These are shell and it's got a button toggle clasp, like a little buttony. It's triple strand. Ooh, would I sell it? I, I, I wish I, I mean, I could probably like make a video just because I feel like somebody that likes the sound stuff would really love it. Chantal asks if I sold that beautiful ruby ring. I have not. I still have it. Uh, I want to get it appraised because I I'm, I really kind of think it's a Burmese uh, ruby and that can really affect the, the value on it. Um, but then it's like, if it's not, then I wouldn't want to sell it for that crazy price. But if it is, I wouldn't want to sell it for less than that. Yeah, I love this. Okay, I just keep wanting to listen to it. I feel like this would make a good, I don't know about a wind chime, but you know, like the beads that you hang in front of the doors and you would like want to push through the beads through the doors. Like, I just want a whole curtain of this just so I could just walk through it. Okay, I need a maze of it. I just need a room full of it just so I can walk through <laughs> a whole room full of that hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> it could be my therapy room instead of a padded room. <laughs> yeah. Is it more greenish or goldish? I think it's more like goldish, yellowy, yellowy, brownie. Look at that one. Looks a bit like agate, though. Where is it? I'm looking at it backwards. No, no, wrong way. This way. There it is. Isn't that cool? But it's not. I'm pretty sure it's shell. We have a treasure cam. Let's look at it closer, shall we? <laughs> it's so hard for me to take it seriously. Uh, you can see my bright pink nails. See? That side looks more like stone than shell, but then the other side is like shell. Are they all like that? No. Yeah, they're shell. Aren't they fun? Okay. Then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, we, we're just starting. So, yeah. I'm so glad you're here. Look at this one, y'all. Yes, it's missing stones, and that is a 
bummer. Here's the clasp. It's got this cool like art deco look on the clasp. This part too. It's missing some stones, but isn't it gorgeous? Somebody will have fun uh, like fixing that up. This is almost like a shooting star or a waterfall or something right there, right? All right, but because it's missing stones and I don't really repair things, that's where it's going. It's going. Okay, Dana, paging Dana. We found your bracelet, Dana. Uh, so Dana's bracelet will go into a craft lot. Yeah. Okay. Billy. Um, yeah, it's super hard. You have to be like ready. Here's what I found. I used to use PayPal, but they've taken that option off where I could just pay with PayPal, like click the button and it, and it pays for it. But they've got Google Pay and something else. So you've, if you get that set up first, before, before the day, get your Google Pay set up or whatever the other one is. It's called Shop or something. There's two payment options. If you sit there and enter in your credit card number, forget it. It's, ne it's never going to happen. Um, so if you get the automatic payment set up through one of those sites that they have as an option, and I and it took it took me two weeks to figure it out because you can't see it until you're like on that screen where you're on the checkout screen. So that's why it took me. I didn't get one for the last few weeks because I couldn't figure out like what happened to the PayPal button, and that threw me. And then just the thought, just thinking about it, with you ran out of time. Um, yeah, so that's the thing. All right, so this one's kind of cool. So we've got these faux pearls on blue cord. I'm really weird about cord and fabric and stuff. This one looks okay. I don't know. I mean, all right, here we go. You knew it's coming. You knew it was coming. This one will probably go into a craft lot. I think it's sellable, but I just don't, I think I probably won't sell it. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you're only, you're only immune to the specific strain that you got. Oh gosh. And that's the thing. Ooh. Yeah. I'm so, everybody's so over this. I'm not alone. So over it. Um, say la vie though. So what we got going. Okay. This is probably not going to be detangled today and it's hooked onto this Kind of cool necklace, but probably all of that will just go into a craft lot because I, I doubt that I'll sell them even. So, um, let's see. Look it in the chat real fast. Um, yeah, it's so weird how people get it. I'm, I don't want to talk too much about it because I know some people get weird about it. and <laughs> I don't want anyone to feel triggered discussing it but just just so you know this yeah anyway i'll just leave it there this necklace looks like it could be gold maybe or maybe not it's got i mean look let's look at the treasure cam <laughs> here we go i the thing that i like what is making me feel good about it is how this these little bars are they're kind of like on these chains but i like the way the bars are etched but let's look. Oh, no, it's a Liz Claiborne. Look, LC. That's Liz Claiborne. It's probably a very cool necklace. Hang on. I'm trying to see if there's more than one necklace going on here. Um, Where's my magnet? Let's get the magnet out. See, it's magnetic. So that'll probably just go into a lot. And I'll let, I mean, it's definitely sellable if it were detangled. But I'm going to let somebody else have the joy of doing it. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so next we've got this chain bracelet. It's a bracelet. And it's woven with like a black cord, like black thread. And this, pardon, this one is also magnetic. So that will go into a craft lot as well. Let's see. I don't want to touch my eye, but I feel like I have something in my eye. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, oh, in the group I, had, I was researching this um, Art Deco brooch. I think it's, I think it's a seriously a vintage or antique, just reproduction, not reproduction, but like mass-produced one that was 
like copper instead of the gold over silver. Anyway, I have to look into it a little bit more. The blue, yeah, they, they, they're five pounds. They're five pounds. Um, yes, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I, I have gotten the emails. I just, it's been a really crazy busy week. So I haven't had a chance to answer back to some people, but it's there still. I still have it. Um, I have not scrapped gold filled yet. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad. Okay. Then next up, we've got, speaking of Santa or Christmas stuff, here's a Santa brooch. His beard looks like shaving cream. And then this says, from a nickel to Bell's nickel, which I will have to look up. Um, it's in fairly good shape, but I'll have to see if that's a brand that sells because I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that I will look up. Okay, so, so far we've got a couple things. We've got this sprung, this will just go into a lot, sprung bracelet, I guess I should say. Here's some nice hoops. They're together, which is great. And they're kind of this hammered gold tone with this turquoise enamel just like painted in there. Those are actually kind of nice. I just have to find some backs for them. I think somebody would really like that. Somebody who likes like gold and turquoisey color. Yeah, those are kind of nice. Normally I don't sell stuff like that, but I don't see any maker's marks either. Or do I? <laughs> I don't trust my eyes, which is why we got the treasure cam. Do you see anything? No, I thought that was a mark, but it's not. Um, around the age of 40, uh, my eyes started like <laughs> getting a little bit uh, where I couldn't see quite as, as well up close. And it st that whole thing started, you know, like, wh what happened to me? <laughs> when did this? It started around 40. Yay. Um, okay, next is this chain necklace it's got uh, i have to look up the names of the chains this is one i don't know off the top of my head but that's a cool one there's the clasp i can see straight off that the finish is coming off of it so that will just go to a lot unless i have like a cool an earring just flew over there um pendant i think would look good on it then that's what i'll do with those look at these whoa that was another big hoop that flew over there. These are some big ones. Big hoops. We had some like this in our last one with a little donkey that would jump through them. Where did I put that donkey? <laughs> I kept them, I know. Um, so those will probably just go into a lot. They, they're not gold or silver or anything like that. But somebody might like them. I'd, sure, why not? Then, ooh, this is fun. Here's a cool one. This is a seahorse, and I believe it's pewter. There's the front. There's the back. Uh, I don't see any marks on that. It is on like a rubber necklace, so probably what I'll do is I've got like silver chains or silver tone chains that I save up, so I'll probably swap out the necklace and then sell the seahorse it's, it's like a seahorse skeleton. It's not even like an alive seahorse, though. That's kind of weird. But, you know, to each his or her own. I don't see any marks on it either. So probably without doing any kind of research, uh, research, if I put it on a nice chain, I bet I could get 17 to 20 bucks. Again, I'll have to do a little, a little research on that. But I, I could see that going for about that price. Let's see. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you so much, Denise. Then we have a tangle. <laughs> and I wish I could remember the, the song. Oh, somebody messaged me and was like, I was I was detangling and I was humming the song that you were singing. If you're if you're dying to detangle and listen to that song, Google it. I mean not Google it, but on YouTube, it's called Sunshine Samba. <laughs> and I use it because it's like uh YouTube has it like as a song you can use without attribution blah 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 whatever um and it's it's a catchy tune so if you find yourself detangling at home and wanting to listen to that sunshine samba is the name of it okay we're gonna have to just talk about these and then i'll detangle the rest later so 
we have got this one is a silver tone multi strand it's got one two three like six or seven strands like that i will sell that i think that's awesome like so and then this one is very cool as well again it's super tangled up and it's going to take me a second to detangle it but this style looks like a kendra scott so we're going to go in we're going in with the treasure cam <laughs> Um, to see if we, if we see any uh, maker's marks on it. So a lot of times on Kendra Scott, like earrings and stuff, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure that this really is a Kendra Scott, but when you have something that you think might be on these pieces, like so on the earrings or whatever it is, usually it's marked on there or like along the edge, you'll see it. So I don't think this is, plus if these feel like probably plastic, faceted bits, but I still think this is sellable. I think it's super duper cute. Let me, let me take it off the treasure cam. <laughs> I think it's super cute. Um, and once I get it detangled, I, I will definitely sell it. Isn't it cool? Yeah, totally detangled. And I know somebody's going to say, you should just record it and put the camera down. It does. It never fails. It's one of those, like you can't please everybody. <laughs> I got plenty of videos camera down. Today's is camera up. <laughs> okay. Then there's this necklace that has got. First I thought, oh yeah, it's plastic. Okay. Because at first I thought it was like, sometimes you'll see these and they, they're like the faux abalone. But then when I looked at it, I was like, it kind of looks like dichroic glass, but it's not. It's just a plastic. It's cool looking though. I mean, I think it's sellable, but I'll probably just put it in a lot. Well, I'll probably, I'll put it in a lot, but I, like that, unless that cleans off right there. So isn't it fun, Joanne? Thanks. The treasure cam. I love it. And I wish right now I could remember the guy's name. I think the mate, I think this is the earring that the mate flew over there, but you can see the, the silver tone is peeling off it. So that... I like to look at the backings because sometimes the backings on earrings, you know, people grab a back off a different earring and sometimes the backs end up being silver. I don't think this one is, but I always like to double check. Look at that green. Nope. <laughs> Pass. Okay. And then, woo. All right. Then we've got this big kind of hammered pebbled looking cuff. It kind of looks like a golf ball uh design on it so that's and it, i would call that gunmetal what do you think gunmetal gray <sighs> sell it yeah it's sellable probably again about you know 12 to 15 bucks on that maybe more depending on what i see that's cool that's a sellable piece easy peasy stretchy one that will go to a lot oh thanks lisa my tiny ponytail oh somebody's escaping this is my, I didn't feel like taking a shower this morning, <laughs> in full disclosure, and I can't stand my hair touching me when I, when I don't wash it. <laughs> That's what happened. All right, then we've got this like really thin shell necklace pendant. This will go to a lot. Let me check that. Magnetic. Yeah. Um, then... Ooh. <laughs> you are beautiful. There's no clasp. Okay, look at these. So these are shell. That's shell, yeah? Oh, they're cold to the touch. Let's look closer. Let's look closer, shall we? <laughs> look at these. Uh, shell? Beads, is that right? This is one of those that I was like, I feel like I know it, but now that I'm looking at it, I second guess myself. They're cold, yeah, shell, beads, and they're awesome. It's a double strand. The clasp is MIA, but maybe it's in there. Hang on, let's see. See, both bits are like so. Unless this is one of those that clipped into like a like, yeah, Mother of Pearl, yeah. <laughs> but I need the class part. Yeah. I always, when I see them like this, you know when you see something, it's like, I know what this is, but you see it in a different format. 
and you're like, you start second guessing yourself. Aren't they gorgeous? They're gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so I have to see if the clasp is in there. If not, we'll have to figure something out. We'll have to figure something out because those are beautiful, beautiful. Hey, everybody in the chat. 131 friends watching. Then we've got this. This is a clamper bracelet. X's and O's, gold tone, clamper. I'll probably put this in a lot. This is made in China. I mean, I think it's probably sellable. It's cute. Somebody may be into XO stuff, you know. Everyone has their thing, right? Then there's this rhinestone necklace with these pearls. That's fancy. Very fancy. Fancy schmancy. In my ponce. Um, so, ooh, will I sell it? It's kind of got this Art Deco look, doesn't it? I think I will. I think I like it. As far as price, there's no missing stones. I don't know, 20 bucks or so maybe? What do you think, more? You think I could get more for that? It definitely has an Art Deco look. My ponytail looks like a sassy tassel. <laughs> Then we've got this one. We've got a bonus here. I will spare you. All right. And it's got some slidey beads, this big open work style chain. And then this is also a Chico's. So Chico's, this one is one I'll go look up as well. <clears throat> Let's see, white cat's eye, cat's eye, okay. Um, <laughs> then, ah, ooh, I wanna get that, hang on, I'm gonna get it. It's a cool earring, so I'm gonna set it here. If it was something junky, I would've left it. Oh no. Okay, we'll see. We have got a little bit of a tangle. Ooh, look, mermaid. I feel like I've had this chick before. But I think I have her in like a brass. Okay, L A G H Law Cat. Is that a place? Maybe this is a souvenir piece from a seaside resort or something like that. Like they could get their town name. Are y'all familiar with this place? Anyone? Bueller? Uh, yeah. So I don't know. I'll have to look that up because I don't know what that is. If it was just the mermaid, I'd be like, yeah, somebody will want that. Maybe somebody will want the law cat. I'm probably butchering that name. Sorry. All right. I've got some bits to detangle up here. It's pretty stuff, though. Let's see if I can get some of this apart. Ooh, okay. These earrings, I love the green, like, peridot color. However, the finish is really a mess. So I'll put those into a lot. And I know sometimes when I put things in a lot, people say like, why would you put that in a lot? Like it's broken or it's this or it's that. The thing is when what one man's trash is another man's treasure, <laughs> you know, broken chains and little bits of earrings that have pretty sparkles. You know, some people like, I wouldn't use that. I wouldn't, but some people will, pick those things out and use them for something awesome, you know? So that's why I just say, I don't throw it away. Rarely, unless it's like just disgusting, like gr like disgusting feathers or something gr so gross. Um, but even then, you just never know. All right, I cannot detangle some of these right now. So here we've got this bracelet with these little hearts. What's hooked into it is like a, a ear clamper with a cross earring. And then there's these two big hoops. So that's what's going on with this tangle. I wanna get my magnet for, yeah. So the open work hearts I think would sell. <sighs> Will I be the one to sell it though? Or shall I put it into a lot? I'm gonna set it to the side because I haven't decided yet, you know. Or one of my kids may want to give it to a friend or something for Valentine's Day. Cute. Okay. Uh, quick look up jeweler name $14 on partial. Which jeweler? 
I don't know which one you mean. All right, then in that tangle was also this. It's got this like purpley black cat's eye on a gold tone chain with a clasp like so. You let go, you. Um, that'll probably put into a lot. It's sold with a blanket in the form. Oh, oh, then this. Okay. Like a blanket mermaid tail. Thank you for looking that up. Sweet. Okay. 14 bucks is something I would sell. <laughs> so I'll put that over here. And that goes in my, yes, I will sell you pile. Okay. Then up here, we've got a little tangle to detangle. We've got some AB stones. The gold tone on this bracelet is wrecked. So this is one that, again, I'll put this in a lot. Somebody will want to maybe harvest, harvest, harvest those stones. Harvest those stones, right? Okay, so that will go to a lot. Oh, I got a pretty screw back earring here, but I'm going to set it to the side. If I can get it removed. Then... Ugh. Tangles! This looks like it matches perhaps that bracelet, sort of. And then that, again, these will just go to a lot. And some more chain. It's a mess. A mess of chain. That will go to a lot. Let me grab my magnet just in case. Let go. Boop. My pile is... About 50-50 right now as far as what's going to sell and what's going to not sell or go to a lot. Next, okay, this is interesting. I need your take on this. We have a fleur-de-lis, which, okay, okay, yeah, we have all seen fleur-de-lis. Let's look at the treasure cam and see what makes this special. So we've got this fleur-de-lis. Cool, right? It's metal. Let's look at the back of it. Look at when you see my fingers up close. Yikes. <laughs> so we've got on the back a C clasp. And then we've also got this. Like it would clasp up from underneath. I, I would, you know, I, I could see how someone might say, oh, this might be for a necklace. But if you did that, then your fleur de lis would hang upside down. Ooh, some of the black enamel is coming out there. So it looks like <laughs> it's super close. Hang on. Like this would clip through a buttonhole or clip up onto something. Do you know? If you know, let me know. Okay, I'm going to set this in my probably sell pile because it's a curiosity at the moment. Ta-da! Okay, yeah, some of the uh, enamel is scraping off of it, but I still think if somebody liked it enough, it wouldn't really matter. It would not. Um, clasp on your collar, very old. Yeah, I think so. Then we've got this. Wait, you slow down there. What are you? I don't know what that little coin is supposed to be, but this will probably just go into a lot. Let's try this again. Looks like a saddle. Let's look closer. I'm trying to see what, if the little coins are any kind of um, tell as far as the maker. It's got some really cool charms on it, like this Hamsa hand. Let's see, turn it around like so. Here's a little Buddha face. That'll probably go into a lot. Um, oh, those are cute earrings. Those are nice. I'm going to see, sometimes earrings like this will have a matching necklace. Unless I already threw. No, that was, I don't think that was a match in there. I'll set these to the side. Then, got a, got a multitask, Deb, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see, that's an earring. I'm setting some of the earrings to the side that I haven't found the mates for yet. Next up, we've got quite a little. Is this orange? This one's really pretty. Okay, so this is silver tone with this really pretty orange pendant. Look at how it catches. 
I will probably sell this because I don't see a whole lot of stuff like this color. Let me pull, put this on the... Oh, thank you for smashing the thumbs up. Uh, let's see. Can we read it? I think it's at a weird angle. So let's see. Oh, that's Avon. Okay. So that's an Avon one. Cool. Yeah, I think somebody might like that orange. I don't see a ton of orange stuff like that. Let's see. I'm looking at the chat now. Okay. Then, oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Okay, we've got a little gold tone necklace, but look. It's a little enamel Easter egg charm pendant, what have you. Isn't it so cute? We're going to treasure cam this one too. Not even for the, I don't think there's a maker's mark, but just to see its beauteousness. Beauteousness? We're going to make up a new word. Why not? I hear you, Pris. I hear you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joanne, for that super chat. I have to give you a, a sticker now or a whatchamadoodle. Where'd it go? Here we go. One and a two and a, what are we going to do? Here we go. You are my sunshine. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let me get back. It takes me a second to get back to where I was. There we go. Okay. So this is one I will definitely sell. Oh, I just saw a tag on this one too. Is this an A1 as well? What do we think? Uh, I'm trying to get it back where it was. Well, let me flip it over so I can. Leia, you are being very loud and fussy, which is not like you. Usually you're very quiet, girl. I'm trying to get this little, I think it is another Avon. Hang on. It's the same style of little hang tag. There. Can you see it? <laughs> it's hard to grab a hold of. That's the back side. I did it. We can do it. Yeah, Avon. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Then next up, what we have is this necklace. What do you think? Would you sell this one or put it in a lot? Up. I'm probably going to put it into a lot. It's cool. I think it would sell, but it's going to go into a lot. Then, isn't the egg sweet? This is a cool stretch bracelet. It's got a really good stretch to it. It's got kind of clear cube stones, gold tone. I believe they're plastic. Hmm. This will probably go into a lot as well. I think it would sell, but... I'll just put it into a lot. Ooh, cute. Perfect timing. This is a stretch ring with a blingy pink heart. Oh, it matches my nails. So I have Moretta <laughs> for Valentine's Day. It's so pretty. I love it. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful lady. And I think even though it has a teeny bit of like wear on the back, I don't think it'll matter because the front is beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay. My cell pile is getting bigger. Earrings. I've got some cute earrings over here. I'm waiting for mates on to show you. Ah, another piece fell. Oh, this is beautiful. You must come to me, darling. <laughs> More things you don't get to hear when I, when I have the music on detangling. Darling, come to me. You belong to me. All right, look at this. <gasps> so we've got this kind of cobalt blue. It almost looks Fabergé-ish. Egg, like a half Fabergé egg. It almost looks like satin, but it's not like those satin threads. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Okay, there is a tag on this. I can't read it. So we're going in. We're going in. Treasure cam, go. What have we got? Can you read it? I'm going to have to tilt it. Here we go. That's another Avon. You're kidding. That's beautiful. Look at this. Up close and personal. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's a for sure seller. Beautiful. <laughs> if, as far as if you see something that you're interested in, 
<laughs> send me an email because I it takes me forever to get things listed. So if you see something you want, for sure, just like send me an email and we'll figure out a price because yeah, one woman show takes a bit. It takes a little while to get stuff done around here. All right, then hold still you. We've got this necklace. It looks like perhaps it was plated. It's on a cool chain though. It's like a, almost like a flat curved snake chain. I'm sure there's a better name for that, but uh, I don't see any maker's marks. Let's get the magnet out. Oh wait, there's a mark on the back of that. We'll have to look closer. <laughs> and we're gonna look closer. Let's see what we see. Is that another Avon piece? It looks like Avon, but the O is small. Uh, FW. Interesting. It's not magnetic. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's silver. So we'll look it up. I'll look this one up and see, you know, it's maybe it's just plated and can be cleaned up. Let me see if I rub at it for a second. Mm, it doesn't seem to be getting better when I rub it. It seems like it's getting worse. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Uh, oh, you had that piece before. It's definitely Avon. Sweet. Okay. Then there's a cool barrette. It's one of these style barrettes that pops out. Like there's two bits that go through like that. Not my kids. Okay, then get back in here, you. Ah, okay. Joanne says it, clean it with toothpaste. It might clean right up. Sweet. Okay, I'll check that out. So I'll hang on to that and see if I find another one to go with. All right, here's this, this, these earrings. They are plastic, but I think they're pretty cool. So I may go ahead and try to list those. Aren't they fun? Awesome. I'm trying to hear what's going on downstairs with the, the kids. <laughs> That's an earring I haven't shown you yet. Things are getting, all right, we've got a little choker style necklace. That'll go to a lot. And then this stretchy bracelet, that will go to a lot. <clears throat> and, ooh, you are pretty. Come to me. Come to me. Look at this, oh wait. Before we put it on the head, we have to remove the bonus hairs, put it in the trash. Nope, some bonus hair still there. Still see you. Bonus hair over there. Now, now we can do this. No, it doesn't because it curves like that when you try to put it on there. Put it on the hair. All right, that's pretty cool though. That's definitely one I will sell. I'll have to straighten out some of these chains over here. That's pretty cool. That's got a tag. That's a, a C for Charming Charlie, but I still think that's cool enough that somebody would, it's showy, it's showy fun. Someone would like that. Oh, I thought it was a caterpillar. It's not a caterpillar, but it's fun still. Hang on. Let me get this off of this necklace. Oh, is it? Really tangled on there. Okay. Oh, got it. Okay. Look at it. <laughs> We've got three jack o' lanterns, and the center one has got googly eyes. Isn't that fun? This is, we're going in. Uh, this one is, let's see. Is that thing? That's not Danecraft. That doesn't look a lot. I mean, it looks like it says Danecraft, but that does not look like a Danecraft piece. D? Something craft. Donna Craft? D O R. Can y'all make that out? Doorcraft? Doncraft. I'll have to look closer later, I guess. All right, unless you know, then let me know. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, I, I could see why we would think Danecraft, but this does not look like Danecraft. <laughs> you know, plus it's missing a... Does it? No. Uh, does Danecraft make this style of stuff? I didn't think they did, but maybe they do. I'll look, at, I'll look closer um, later, unless you know, again. 
pop it in. It's not what I my brain goes to when I think Danecraft. Ah, there goes a, neck, a bracelet, rather. Come here, you. We've got a slide, a neckerchief slide for scouts. I'll have to see if this is an old one. Because sometimes people like to buy the old. Or if this is just a worn out one. It looks old. I'll have to look that one up. You think it's Dora Craft? I'm like, because Dane Craft is more like cool. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> then, yeah, it looks, this is a box. It's pretty good. Next up, we've got this necklace, which I made. Go ahead and try to sell because it's got these cool, like, Celtic knot beads on this silver tone necklace. That's a sellable piece. Then, come here, you. We're tangled up a bit. Come here. Oh, why? That one's really pretty. It's, um, is it multi-strand? I think it is. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, gosh. It looks like it's definitely either, it's supposed to have these little random bits hanging down or it's broken in some way. I don't know. I think it's broken in some way because it looks like there's a, supposed to be a third. Okay, that'll go to a lot. Somebody can pick that apart, play with it. That one's cool. It's got these kind of rings. Mm. I don't see any maker's mark on it to show you. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I think that's another Avon one. So I'll have to look, I'll look that up to see if it's something, maybe somebody would get it. Here it comes, incoming. <laughs> I heard to say mod recording. All right, we've got this one. It's a cool like beaded necklace with a nice beaded charm on it. Very, very fun. That's one I'll probably try to sell. Love it. Liz says it is Dane Craft. Oh, okay. Danecraft does make jack o' lantern pins. Okay, thanks you guys. <laughs> Cause I'm just like, really? Um, next up is this like a? Are you knocking? Are you, are you knocking? Huh? Oh, okay, I thought you were talking to me. Sorry. Like a uh, like a snail shell type of swirl flat chain and then i don't know i might try to sell that one there we go i mean it's not gold gold but it's pretty cool and then i've got quite a few earrings down here oh i've got sweater clips but these are this these are golf sweater clips this is the masters 1962 like clips for I guess a cardigan, not a cardigan. What do they wear? I guess it's a sweater clip still. So yeah, that's something I will try to sell. I'll have to look that up. This is fun. It's a gold bangle, gold tone with like yellow enamel and a little gold star on each side. That's sweet. I can try to sell that. I just realized I'm not giving estimate, estimated prices. Ooh. This is pretty. This is pretty. This is a flat, like snake kind of curb. Oh, there's a name for that. I can't think of what it is. Isn't it beautiful? Do we see any marks? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's look closer at it. Here we go. I, I don't see any marks on it. But I'm going to get my magnet. It is magnetic. This might be a catch and release. I really, really like this. Because it looks expensive, but I don't think it's expensive. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Okay, that might be a catch and release. I like that one a lot. Herringbone. That's the one. Serpentine herringbone. Yep, that's right. Herringbone. Then we've got this cute like a little stylized zebra brooch definitely gonna sell that one people love their animal stuff then this nice stone 
stretch bracelet. I'll probably give that to my sister, put it in her bag of beads. Bag of beads that I have for her. Another earring. Ooh, this one's, oh, it's on that fishing wire. Oh, that, that line, I don't like it, but the beads are awesome. Look, they're these really pretty glass heart beads. Mmm, probably going to send that to my sister too. I can't handle that, that fishing line stuff. Mm -mm. I feel like I had one like this before too that I was like, I think I'm going to keep this. Isn't that pretty? And that's the clasp. It's a fold over clasp. And this one is also magnetic, but I really like it. So I'm going to put that in my catch and release pile too. Here's the necklace that matches that other bracelet we had earlier. Look, my thumb's getting so dirty. How large is that? Oh my gosh. I have like a canvas bag because I haven't seen my sister in like almost a year. So I just fill her up until it's time to take it to her. And then she gets to play and sort her beads and everything into her craft room. Right now the, the bag is quite, quite large, <laughs> robust. Uh, okay, we've got a bit of a tangle. So on this, this is a necklace that's got like those fishermen, ah, sorry, dropped. Fisherman, you know, clips. I look because um, James Avery does stuff like this for men, like this style. I don't think this is a James Avery piece, but they do that style for men. And then this black necklace is, that's the back side of it. It's got this butterfly missing some stone. So probably put that in a lot. My throat's getting, mm. pardon me. <clears throat> oh, this is really pretty. Okay, so here we've got this necklace, but they really have some nice stuff in here. Looks like we've got maybe some marcasite in that and then it's got this teardrop pendant at the bottom that's really pretty very 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 pretty love it okay uh, i'm just kind of giving it a glance for any marks but i don't see any marks but that's one i will definitely sell very cool okay digging in oh 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 hold the phone Hold the phones. Yes, 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 yes. You are the winner. I'm going to do this and see if you can guess. I have one of these I haven't listed yet. And it's like, okay, anybody know what brand this is? Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is a very expensive bra. And it is called, I'm waiting to see if anybody in the chat's getting it. Somebody knows. It is, um, a lot of their pieces have this kind of like ridged. It's not really ridged. There you go. You got it. <laughs> Alexis Vitar. And then it's, it will like change color. Like, oh my gosh. I have another Alexis Vitar over there that I haven't listed yet because I just haven't. But let me show you the, the name. There it is. I didn't even have to know. I didn't even have to look. I knew it. There it is. Alexis Bittar. This will almost certainly be the winner of the box. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Let's see if I can open it. Yeah. Uh, there it is. So it's got this magnetic closure. It's got, listen, it kind of creaks on the open. I wonder why. Anyway, that is Alexis Bittar. Yeah, it is marked, but this is very characteristic of Alexis Bittar style, where it's, you when you turn it, it's, it goes clear, and then the color shows up, and then that ridging, that texture, I don't know what the name of that is, um, on those pieces. <sighs> Let me see if I can grab the other one. That I have. Is it where I can grab it? Let's see. It is. Let me grab it. I'll show it to you. So you can see. You probably are like, we don't really need to, Margaret. Nah. Okay, I won't. 
Because <laughs> then I have to get up and make a big to-do of it. Um, I will have to, but depending on, I'm going to see if I can look it up real fast because this is a, a good one. Alexis, let me, um, let me pop it open for you. So on some Alexis guitar stuff, let me close this, remove that. Let me add a different stop screen share. Let me do a different screen share so I can show you. So Alexis guitar stuff, you know, can be in the hundreds depending on what, what it is. See on these teardrops, you can see that kind of textured look too. That's really characteristic of Alexis Pitar. They don't all have that, um, clearly. Let's see, bangle. Alexis Pitar, bangle. Here's one that's like studded, that's black, 145 bucks, 85. Depending on the thickness, it looks like it could be it's gorgeous. Okay, so here's one that's a blue green one, 60 bucks, 40 bucks. Wow, I thought my other one's I think is selling for more. The other one I've got, I think, but these are up for sale. There's my blue one, 50 bucks Poshmark. Okay, still not bad. I'm not complaining about that. But I love it. Love it. But I'll have to look because I, I think I can get more than that. I do. I do, I do. Okay. Then I don't know it's what, because sometimes I get more than one box. And so it comes in a bigger box and I unpack the boxes in my workroom. So I don't even know. Um, all right, let me, re no, I want to remove that. I want to add back the camera. There we go. Share. There we go. Okay. Next up is this bracelet it's missing a stone sure denise i'll hold on to that for you it's not going anywhere just send me a, a message uh we've got this little kind of close a but not exactly just sort of inlaid looks like a little fan kind of close a ish <clears throat> i guess you could call it close a that one will go to a lot and that will go to a lot. What have we got here? This is cool. Very vintage. It's got this like carved green. Looks like a bug. What do you think? Or a f partly looks like a flower, but when you turn it, if I can get it the right way, there. Looks like the, I guess it's a flower, but it looks like it could be a bug, but I think it's a flower. That's cool. The chain is meh, but the charm is cool. So I may just try to sell the charm off of that. The pendant. My throat is getting super dry. How long have we been at this? I may have to finish this later. Because my throat is starting to go berserk on me. Okay. Let me dig around and see if I can find one more thing to show. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like we got some silver. Got some silver. Okay. We've got this ring. Looks like a silver ring with a hematite. Maybe our pearl. Let's look closer. <laughs> Hematite, pearl. What do we think? Hmm. I think it's hematite based on the the drill and based on let's see if I can get the color brighter or darker. Brighter? Let's go bright. Nope, that's as bright as it's gonna go. Yeah, pretty sure that's um gosh, my hands are filthy. <laughs> <laughs> Need to wash that. Um, a little hematite bead. The ring size, oh, if it's my ring finger, so probably about, what is that, like a seven, maybe? Seven and a half on that ring. I didn't sing my mandrel song. Oops. Mandrel, mandrel. Who's got the mandrel? If you got the mandrel, then you are it. Okay, I think what I'm going to have to do is save the rest because I'm over an hour here and I've got all these earrings too to finish up. So we still have like this much left. So probably what will happen is when I do another box, I'll just you you know open this with it. Because I'm trying to see. What else is in there? What else you got? There's probably more cool stuff in there. Anyway, at the moment the Alexis guitar is the winner. 
there may be something else amazing down in the bottom because a lot of times the bottom holds treasures tons of treasures unseen by the human eye okay i i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you on the next one i'm off to wash my hands um, but have a great rest of your weekend bye everybody